get out of bed. I uh, decided to sleep in. I got up at 6. Um, and then just didn't feel it. So I'm back to bed. I'm back to sleep. Which I don't usually do. Uh, I usually get up really early, but it's a day off. Um, and so I slept till... Oh, I'll turn my watch on. I slept till 9. So that was pretty epic for me. I don't usually sleep past seven, no matter what. Even if I'm really hungover or sick, I usually at least wake up and lay in bed. Um, so yeah, to actually be out asleep, dreaming, I had some weird dreams. Um, like that was, that was pretty great. So, looks like the air quality is challenging again today. Uh, I am going to get out at some point, um, try to go see some stuff, do some things. Yeah, air quality is 165 right now, so it says the app on my phone. Let me see. Yeah, 165. Not good. Not good at all. I'll probably wearing my mask today. I'm going to make some breakfast, I think. Uh, some bacon, some eggs. And then try to head out for the day. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't really have any plans off day. Which is nice that I'm off, but uh, I don't have any plans. <coughs> <coughs> really nothing to do, so. Um, which is fine. Sometimes it's nice not to have plans. But having said that, um, I'm a pretty motivated guy, and some days I feel a little aimless when I don't have work or if I don't have a to-do list of some sort that is keeping me, my brain. Um, by the way, Nespresso machines are the greatest invention ever, especially for someone who lives quite a bit of time alone. What I mean by that is because my wife and kids are frequently back in the U.S., uh, I can make one cup of coffee at a time, and it's really good. They have all these different flavors. You can see all the pods, all the pods there. Um, you can tell I like the ones that were over there. And uh, it's got a milk steamer. If you wanted to do like a latte deal, uh, you put your water right here. I know they're not like new or anything, I know they've been out for a while, but I got this about a year ago, uh, and man, I love this thing. Absolutely love it. Yeah, Nespresso's not paying me to say that. Um, no one's paying me to say anything, because nobody watches my YouTube channel. Uh, but it's really good. So, I would highly recommend purchasing one, if you haven't already. There's the perfect cup. Uh, I just got invited to go to brunch with a couple friends, Mike and Megan, and their baby Mikey. So I'm going to head out now and try to meet them before they finish eating. I can't decide if I'm gonna take a cab or if I should jump on the Metro. They are already at the restaurant. Um, they uh, sent me a little bit of a late invite, which is totally fine. Um, better to be thought of than not to be thought of at all. Um, but I had to jump in the shower quickly. Now I am going to try to race until... Uh, hopefully they don't get their food until I get there, but whatever. It's no, it's no big deal. DD Cab is on the way. I'm walking up to the corner to meet uh, the car where I dropped the pin. It's about four minutes out, it looks like, approximately. So, I shouldn't be too late. Mike just texted me, the food did just arrive. Well, that's cool. I had errands to run anyway, so I needed to go out um, to Taikuli where I'm meeting them for breakfast anyhow. So, it's all gonna work out just fine. Let's see if this is a guy. Yeah, 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 I see you, I see you, I see you. Right here. Okay, here he is. All right. 
here's my car. Ni hao. Hello. How are you? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Taiguli? Huh? Taiguli? Oh, no, no. No? No, no, no. Oh, well, why'd you, <laughs> why'd you let me in your car then? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, so I jumped in the wrong car. I was too busy playing with my camera and didn't notice the license plate number. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of annoying for the driver. Hopefully, I didn't screw up his toll. Like, you know, you have to start it. You swipe the little thing and it starts the ride. So, hopefully, he didn't start it and then had to cancel whoever was actually waiting for that cab. All right, so just arrived at Taikuli. I am walking as fast as I can to go meet Mike and Megan. My driver was a little confused on the whole U-turn concept. Uh, yeah, I'm just not too sure he was much of a skilled driver, so we sat at an intersection while he got up the nerve to do a U-turn. It's pretty comical. Heading back to the place where I work. I don't have my laptop with me and we're trying to close some hiring requisitions to hire some people, so. And I sent it wrong, so I sent it off to my HR person for approval and then she just told me that I did it wrong, so now I gotta go back to the office to do it. I should have just brought my laptop with me. Not that I'd be able to find a place with internet connection anyhow, so I guess it's kind of a moot point. So anyways, that's how I'm spending my day off. I'm going back and forth to work. Oh well, it's cool. I like what I do. All right guys, so I am at Cab, Cobb, <clears throat> getting ready to eat. Um, these are mushrooms wrapped in bacon stuffed with cheese with pesto sauce. Um, they're really good. Mm. If you like cheese, bacon, mushrooms, and pesto. It's an appetizer, but as you can see, it's pretty big. It's gonna be a meal for me. So, I'm gonna sit here, drink my sparkling water, eat my bacon wrapped mushrooms, and then probably head home. Went out a little bit on the town today, picked up some stuff. Um, the weather's been really kind of cold and overcast, just not great lighting to shoot too much stuff around the city. So, I'm probably going to go home, watch the movies, maybe do some editing. Really not much, just hang out, probably. I had some people over to my house the other night, some friends from work, uh, for a Groundhog Day party. Since living in China, it's like the most uniquely American holiday I can think of. And everybody else has had people over for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff. Um, I really haven't had anybody over for much besides drinking. So, invited, I don't know, probably 10 people. Six, six people showed up. It's pretty good. And we sat and we drank wine and talked. And we drank a lot of wine. There were six of us. Really only five people showed up. I mean, excuse me. Six people showed up. Only five people drank. We went through ten bottles of wine. 
between five people. So needless to say, I was extremely hungover yesterday. I didn't do much at all yesterday. I was a wreck. Um, we didn't even do anything, really. We, we honestly, we sat around my kitchen table and just told funny stories until everybody decided they had drank too much and they left. And I cleaned the kitchen, did the dishes, and passed out. The city's definitely full again after Chinese New Year. Uh, a lot of traffic, a lot of people, so everybody's back from their vacations with their family and their hometowns, so the city feels alive again. It was nice to have a break, man, like hardly anybody around, quiet, no loud trucks blaring their horns where I live. That was super nice, but it's okay. Now there's like a vibrant city again, you know? It, it's kind of weird being in a big place with skyscrapers and hardly anybody around. It almost feels like a zombie movie of some sort, so. This feels normal again. Yeah, yeah I didn't do too much today. Just kind of cruised around the city, uh, purchased a few things, had lunch at Cab, and met Megan and Mike for lunch at Element Fresh. So I guess I had two lunches. So an early dinner um, I had by myself, and I had a late lunch with uh, Mike and Megan. And I had to work. Unfortunately, I had to get uh, I had to get some stuff done. I did not have my computer with me, unfortunately. So I had to go into one of our locations and jump on the computer. And I did about, I don't know, three hours or so back and forth on that. So not that big of a deal, but definitely disrupted the flow of my day. Um, but I'm not gonna complain about it because it's what pays for my life at this point. So um, that's it. I'm probably just gonna hang out here tonight, uh, maybe work on some projects.